everybody. Thanks for joining me on Hacking Hollywood. Today we are unboxing a purchase that I got from eBay. This is actually a ATEM HD switcher and router. I believe it came from a church and it came with a lot of other accessories and goodies. We're going to be unboxing and taking apart the switcher as you see here. It looks like it's in pretty decent shape and it also came with this rack unit. I debated using this rack unit and I wasn't sure if I was going to keep it or leave it and after a few months I ended up not keeping it. It was a custom DIY rack that somebody built. What I didn't expect was the pile of cables that they gave me. Some of them would be useful and most of them would not. So I'm going to quickly go through and organize these cables the best I can. One of the first things you'll notice is they used tape to wrap up each one of these cables. And that is a big no no for me. That's something that drives me bonkers. <laughs> I really don't like to have tape because it leaves a residue. And even though it seems like you're organizing the cables well, it actually becomes more of a nuisance. I guess it is better than having a pile of cables that all get intertwined and wrapped up and tangled, but hey, I really don't like it. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cut off the tape and then we're gonna use Goo Gone and the Goo Gone is gonna allow us to get that adhesive off the tape. So I'm gonna go through each one of these cables and unwrap them, wipe them down, make sure there's no adhesive, and then I'm gonna use a Velcro tie, which I'm gonna to cut to the right length, and I'm gonna apply them to all of the different cables that I'm gonna keep. I will say some of these cables are S-video and older cables that are no longer relevant or useful for me in my business. So as I go through, I'm gonna to be tossing the cables that I don't need and keeping the ones that I do. Primarily, there's two types of cables that I'm keeping. It's either SDI cable, which is great for cameras or ethernet cables, which are great for network connectivity. There's also some power cables. Some of them will be universal, like a 12 volt power supply, three amps, five amps, that kind of thing. But each one of these cables needs some attention and I need to look at them to see if it's worth keeping. That's kind of the penalty you pay when you wrap these with tape is the adhesive. And if I don't take the adhesive off now, it's gonna get on my fingers and it's gonna pick up dirt and dust and get even more grimy over time. There's a few USB cables. I wasn't sure if I was gonna keep those, but eventually I did end up tossing most of them and keeping the ones that were relevant. But I don't know about you, but seeing this sped up is definitely rewarding and makes me reflect on all the time and energy that I spent organizing gear. You'll see that eventually the tape gunks up my scissors, which I wiped down with the Goo Gone to make sure they're clean. And I just keep working away probably 40 or 50 cables in this lot. So definitely grateful to have it. Like I mentioned in the beginning, I bought the switcher with this router. And to my surprise, the switcher router together was more affordable than buying the router by itself. So that's kind of why I bought this purchase. I used the switcher for a few months then I turned around and sold the switcher for about 90% of what I paid for this whole lot. Pretty good deal. Thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next one.